Unpaid care work uh, entail all the domestic work that is done in the house, uh, washing, cleaning, preparing food, but also the direct care of people, uh, children, person with disabilities, older person and able bodies as well. Um, there is an enormous impact on uh, unpaid care and human rights in two senses. One, in regards to the rights of those who provide care and also the rights of those who receive care, so the caregiver and the care receivers. In my work as a, as a UN Special Rapporteur on Poverty and Human Rights, I've seen uh, the links between or the negative impact of policies that uh, do not take care uh, issues or do not address issues of unpaid care and women's life and uh, how they are normally entrenched in poverty uh, or unable to lift themselves out of poverty because of the increased unpaid care work that they do. For example, when there is no um, public services uh, where women can go in order to um, healthcare facilities, for example, or education facilities. Uh, they, the work that they do increases. They have to probably work longer to get access to healthcare facilities. They, if they do not have, for example, any technology uh, like electricity or do not have access to, to water and sanitation facilities, they spend enormous amount of time doing this and that prevail them from doing an income generating activity, for example, but not only that, I mean, they, they are uh, constrained in the enjoyment of several rights, for example, the right to education. They do not have time to, um, to, to succeed in education because they have to undertake care responsibilities. Or in uh, some uh, developing countries, it will imply that girls are not going to be sent to school. Uh, but it's also a lot of uh, an, an, a very huge impact on the right to health of people because there is actually a limit on how much care work somebody can undertake without affecting his uh, or her own uh, mental, physical uh, health. Therefore, if policies do not address the amount of uh, care work that uh, people are doing, the majority of them, women, they're, they're right to health or the right to education or the right to access to uh, um, an, a, an income generating activity could be severely affected. There is a lot of work to do in order to, uh, to raise awareness about the importance of unpaid care work. Um, we have the evidence. Uh, due to the work of feminist economists, due to the work of uh, economic uh, develop, uh, uh, economists and development practitioners, we know now the, the data. We know, for example, that women undertake many more hours of work in, if compared with men. Uh, we know the impact, etc. However, there's, there's been very little influence in policy makers about this. So I think that we need to um, increase alliance uh, and we need to work from completely different angles and different disciplines in order to stress the, uh, the human rights impact of uh, unpaid care work. And in that sense it's also important to notice that because women do not have time due to unpaid care work, it's also, and particularly women living in poverty, it's very difficult for them to organize themselves in order to raise their boys. So it is very important that we ensure that public policies um, have built-in mechanisms that will address issues of unpaid care work, for example, providing childcare facilities in order to allow women living in poverty to participate in their community, in their political, cultural and social life. There is a momentum now, I think. Uh, the fact that, for example, austerity measures that are impacting everywhere around the world, not only in, in Europe, where it's better documented, but everywhere around the world, is really having an enormous impact on unpaid care work of women. Why? Because uh, there has been a cut on public services, and the assumption is that women are 
sort of taking or, or filling the gap for the lack of public service provision that we see in less healthcare facilities, less childcare facilities, cutting public services budget, in health services budget, etc. And it is assumed now, or, or implicitly, women are taking on and filling the gap on the lack of public services. So now it's really the moment in which we have to act. This austerity measure and the impact on women's and pay care work, it is uh, compound with the situation that we confronted before the crisis. That is a different uh, demographic. Uh, the world is getting older and this required more uh, care uh, services for uh, the population that is getting older. There is a huge impact of migration as well. Uh, and this impact is in the care deficit that women from developing countries that are moving to provide care work in developed countries are leaving behind in their own countries and also to protect them because most of them are women, most of these women that migrate are taking uh, upon care services for, for richer countries and also the impact of HIV AIDS pandemics that it is in it is increasing the amount of care work that families or communities need to undertake. So now uh, the austerity measures have come on top of this very difficult situation and therefore I think that there is the momentum to, to act. We cannot wait for longer uh, without addressing the issues of unpaid care work.